You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. I'm joined by... James. Hey, James. Hello. Today, we're talking about the Zalo Supercell Exotic Auto Rifle. This thing's a badass, James. First yeah. thing I notice about it, it looks like an AK-47. Yeah, it kind of does. A little let's, bit. let's take a quick look yeah. at it in the inventory. Let's see it there. Uh, yeah, look at that. It already comes with uh, rusty blood stains. Yeah. You know, as all good brand that, new That's guns my uncle's should. name, Rusty yeah. Bloodstains. <laughs> rusty Bloodstains. Yeah. Yeah, once he gets out of jail, we're going to have a party. One thing, too, it's cool is the ba barrel of the gun, or the butt of the gun, has a magazine poking yeah, out of it. Is, yeah, you notice I didn't decrypt it when I was 300 plus, so we're at a 290, but, you know, it's still going to perform the same. Right. If you had been at 300 plus, it might have been a higher light level. Might have been a 300, might have been a 310, level. but, you know. Yeah. So let's get started. Let's start off at the top right here. Uh, so it's called the Zell Super Celts, an auto rifle, as we said. Uh -huh. It says, an upcycled torrent of righteous thunder. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. You can tell right away that this is one of those guns that has a super low impact, but a huge rate of fire. You're yeah. going to be shooting bullets all over the place right. with this sucker. You're going to poke a lot of holes. The range is typical for an auto rifle. An auto rifle has been described by the developers as sort of like the chainsaw weapon. It's going to deal massive damage at close to medium range, uh -huh. but be wholly ineffective at long distance. Gotcha. So you're not going to be taking out a sniper from a distance with this, but you are going to be wrecking whatever's in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Stability... This could be a little bit better, but it's still pretty good. I'm hoping one of these perks might do something to, to uh -huh. benefit that. I personally like a really stable auto rifle. Yeah. And stability is yeah. so huge. It's so important. I would oh, definitely yes. sacrifice magazine capacity for stability right. in my, my personal preference. And then you got your reload, which is incredibly good for an auto rifle. I mean, right. that, that I mean for any gun, actually. So that that's pretty darn good. Cool. I'm happy with that. Let's... And the magazine size 36 is not too shabby either. All right, start on the left. So we've got Zalo Supercell. Arc, Arc projectiles have a chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. This is the main flavor perk. Wow. So if anyone's used a Thunderlord before, the Thunderlord has a secret built-in perk that when you hit things, you know, in a, in a group, it can chain lightning around them. It looks like this is either the same or a comparable version of that. Yeah, that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. All right. Don't use it at kids' parties. And then we have, okay, then we have CQB Ballistics, uh -huh. greatly reduced recoil, significant penalty to range. If we were to change that, we'd lose a little bit of range, gain more stability with smart drift control. Yep. And this one is a much larger impact. We'd gain a lot more impact. I mean, that's that's like a, a substantial difference in impact. That's a pretty good amount of impact, especially okay. when you're talking PvP. That's going to determine your TTK, time to kill. Time to kill. Okay. So that impact is more significant than it looks, but you're taking a massive hit to your stability to go that route. So you're going to miss a lot more. But well, if those that do hit, yeah. I mean, if you're up impact. close though, and you're just spraying, that could be a it, you know. Does, how does impact affect damage? Is that what that yes, is? Yes, it impacts the amount of damage you do per shot. Per shot. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, and, and you know for a fact, though, that the, the um, um, aiming reticule, sorry. The yeah, th that's not going to change. And we can confirm that real quick. It's, yeah. uh, let's see. So normally aiming down sights looks like a you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then if we were to change that circle. perk, it's probably going to look exactly the same. because it's... Put that one on there. Sometimes they're different. Uh, yeah, yeah. It it's on. the same. Yeah. All right, All right, moving on, we have persistence. This weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. So what that's going to do is that's going to compensate for your lack of stability up front by giving you a stability boost built in the longer you hold down the trigger. Yeah. Is and, that holding down the trigger or uh, semi-auto, though? I mean, do, oh, you lose, long, do you lose that perk as soon as you yes, go semi-auto? Yes, you would. And for uh -huh. the, something like that, you want a larger magazine because your stability is going to get better and better near the end, yeah. which obviously, you know, you're going to want a bigger magazine for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And also, don't be drunk. Yes. So here's where we get to the main choice you're going to be making cool. between your weapon choices. Hammer forged, improved, improved range and accuracy. Mm -hmm. Rifled barrel, increased range, slower reload. Your reload takes a little bit of a hit, but your range goes pretty, you know... Would you say that's yeah. a substantial difference? I, I would probably, if I were making a call on this, I would prefer that. Yeah. And then the last option is massive. Wow. Your stability goes through the roof. Your reload jumps back up. You know, it wouldn't change if you were in Hammer Forged. Yeah. But from this perspective, it goes jumps way up. Your range takes a massive hit, and your magazine's going to go down. So let's see how big of a hit your magazine's well, magazine, going to take. 30, it was 38, wasn't it? Oh, it was 36. Yeah, I know. Oh. But then if we were to do this, you would jump oh, down to 28. Oh, 28. Okay. That, wow. that's, that could be bad. Yeah, so that, well, you know, what is that? But it's, you get a lot. Difference. You not... lose a lot of range. You uh -huh. gain a lot of stability. So let's just, you know, since this is the biggest, you know, thing you can 
a hit you can take. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's give it a look. And the last thing is bolts from the blue. Double kills with this weapon charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the magazine. Explain that's that's awesome. what a double kill is. A double kill is when you kill two enemies within rapid succession of each okay. other. It might be like a two to five second delay between it. And the good thing about this is that as long as you're growing more accurate per shot, ammo returning to your magazine is a big boost. No kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Enough for the talking. Let's oh, yeah. get to shooting. Let's get this AK-47 out there. I mean, this is Zalo Supercell and blow some people's faces off. Whoa. Okay, let's see what the reload looks like. And let's try it on a group. That's what... Oh, this is pretty You can fucking see cool. it chaining lightning. I thought this... I saw it do that. Am I seeing good stability there? It looks like the stability is pretty power, pretty solid. You're really holding holding your precision quite well. Yeah, okay. unload on somebody here. Yeah, let's try... <laughs> let's get a big group together and see what this sucker can do. Yeah, here comes a good... Not... Okay, let's get a little bit more... All right, guys. James, you're like a kindergarten teacher. You're just like, follow me, kids. Except you'd be the worst kindergarten teacher. <laughs> Whoa, you, you, that, they didn't last long. No. That was, so you're almost better. You see like, that chain right there going out? Yes, it did. Right up the cool. stairs. But you'd be, it'd be, I mean, a, a wise tactic, if you tell me if I'm, I'm being stupid here, is, is don't just shoot the first guy. Let him line up. Plan your, plan your, your yeah. hits, you know? Oh my god, that is crazy. I, I don't know, dude. I'm seeing a really powerful gun here. So is this gun popular? This gun has gotten a lot of talk. People seem to want it a lot. I don't know if it's because it looks really cool, because yeah. people think it's functionally cool, or because it's one of the very few exotic options that's been released for this DLC that actually has an elemental non-kinetic attack. As you can tell, this is obviously arc. Arc damage, yeah. But you, you're saying that it's something people are pretty... Uh, it's highly sought after, though. People, yes. People have, I just um, happened to get lucky enough to find one. Yeah. So I'm going to kind of see if I can highlight something else for you. If okay. I can see... Let's see. Is that guy up there? Doesn't do look like he is. Here? Yeah, I wanted to try and show a little bit of range. So, Oh, there he is. Uh, so see him back there? Yeah. I'm not doing a lot of damage at range to this guy. Right. If I were using a scout rifle, he'd be down by now. But see right there? It just doesn't work great at a range. And that's the limitation of an auto rifle. That's why some people would choose to use a scout rifle over an auto rifle. Yes, yes. Especially with, this, with the perk you have currently equipped. That heavy, um, if you go back to that menu. Oh, sure. Especially with this perk right here, the rifle, the braced frame. That, 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 that increases stability. Scroll up again through the... So hammer forge yeah. would give me more range. It would up my ammo, but decrease my stability. Yeah. Rifle barrel will increase my range, but reduce my reload speed. Gotcha. Very cool. Which is not not too bad. Yeah. You know? Anything and, else to and I can say about say, it? I can't say I have tested this out in PvP, uh -huh. and I haven't done extensive testing on it, but I know I killed at least five people in a row with it. It was working well. I was landing the headshots. It was staying on target. I was having a lot of fun. You, it might not be the best PvP weapon because you're not really going to be chaining lightning across targets that often because people don't tend to bunch up as much in PvP in certain maps. Right. But I'd say it's a viable weapon to choose, and you know I'd like to see people more, more people using it. And if it just makes your friends jealous, then that's yeah. the main reason to use it by, by a long mile. Yeah, and it looks really cool. Oh, I just noticed EK-97 on the end of the gun on the front, right up at the bottom right there. Hmm. So I think they're going for some AK-47 stuff. It also has that sort of... Uh, See that detail, that sort of lines along the seam that run mm -hmm. along the edge there, oh, that yeah. end at the frame? That Those are like welding uh, marks. So they're supposed to look like it's sort of cobbled together out of nuclear, you know, apocalyptic Russian wasteland Now what's that gear. little like bolt action handle that, does that actually activate when you reload? Is oh, on the right side you mean? No, that doesn't seem to be used at all. No, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> use that. What right is there, it? that thing on the right. It that looks little... like a turn signal. I want to flick it. <laughs> James, excellent. I hope people learned something from that. I sure learned a lot. Uh, let us know if you guys enjoy using this gun or if, uh, you know, got any questions or anything. Um, subscribe. Watch our other videos. Become a Destiny Freak like James. And uh, we're all going to have a fun time. All right? Party at my house. Bye. Bye.